Hi, this is Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Management. And today I want to show you a Google Chrome extension called DoShare. Now I used DoShare to share Google information or to do Google postings. You can also schedule postings as well. Now my favorite all time social media tool is Hootsuite, but Hootsuite does, doesn't really perform Google plus task well. So I had to look for something different. So I used DoShare for that. So I wanted to, wanted to bring that to you guys today and give you a little bit of information about DoShare. Now, first, let's take a peek at DoShare itself. And it's very simple, actually. You'll see the interface is very clean and it will just ask you what you want to post, basically. Let's go to, we're going to go to a posting that I have here. Let's go to this one. Social media automation woes in human evolution. This is the actual page that I'm on. What you want to do after you load up DoShare, well, maybe I should show you that first. Let's go into, if you, you're using Google Chrome, you will go into the settings. And in the settings, you'll go over to the left where it has extensions. And go all the way down to the bottom and pick get more extensions. Here. You can type in do share. And here it is, do share. As you can see, you had to make that one word. And then you would just install that into your extensions. I already have it in my extensions, and that's why you see this check mark. Okay. So do share is, is on my computer and you can see it here where it has this little one. Normally it will say zero, but I actually have an article saved to go out later. And that's why it says one. And you can see where it says do share one draft save. Now we're going to go to the page that we want to share or schedule for later for Google. And do share is just for Google only. And we'll go back to the actual page here. And you just go up to your extension and you will click on it. And you'll see in the middle of the page, you'll see this is the link to that article that we were just on. And you just click on that link, pretty much confirming that this is the one that you want. And you'll see it will come up with a with the headline and then it will have like the first pieces of information from that page. You can remove the description if you want to, you can remove the image if you want to, but it looks better the way it is. Now what I would do next, and I'm not going to do it right now because I want to keep this short is I would actually cut and paste the actual article here. And then I would do a little bit of editing on here to send it out. You put your title here, you put whatever description, you don't have to put anything if you don't want to, it's going to put this piece in there for you. So uh, in this particular instance, let's just go ahead and we'll just put this in as it is and we'll see how it looks and we won't put anything into in the description. We'll just post this. We'll just share this. And if you look, Look down here, you have some options. You can delete the post if it's not what you wanted. You can say send to drafts, schedule, or share now. Now before you do that, let's just take a look at these little icons here. If you click this one where it has the check mark in the box, it's actually a poll. You can enact a poll on your post that goes to Google. Now we don't want to do that, so we're going to remove that poll, but I just wanted you to see that there's an option. Here you can add a photo, you can add a link instead of the link that you chose on the page. So you can actually go to do share and you can share other links without actually being on that page. But being on the page is, uh, is very easy and efficient. And then here you'll see like a little box and this is actually my personal Google Plus account, but I have a couple of those. So if you select, 
you'll see here, it'll show you the other accounts that you have ownership on. And I'm going to choose SOH Social Media Management because that's where I want this one to post. And you'll see the picture change because I have different pictures. And we're going to go ahead and say share now. Now it's going to ask you to select circles because when I said it didn't go anywhere because before you hit the share now button, you have to select circles. So here's where you would select the circles, which is definitely something that Hootsuite does not have the ability to do. You can post things from Hootsuite onto Google Plus, but it doesn't give you the ability to pick the circles that you want. So we're going to pick public and we're going to pick the circles and that's it. Oh, let's go back. Okay. Sorry about that. If you click away, it's going to just disappear. Okay. But we have our title. We have what we want to share. We have our circles we want to share it to, and we'll click share now. And it's off. So let's go look at the page. All right, this is my Google Plus page, and let's just refresh the page. And you'll see this is where it posted. So this is it here. And as you can see, it doesn't really post a description. So you really want to put something in your description. Although it shows in DoShare, it doesn't show in the description. And also one more thing that I wanted to show you on this is if you look here now, I have a little icon that is active because I have that do share on my, in my um, extensions on my Google Chrome, it, it allows me to also share posts this way so I can save them for later and schedule them for later, which is something that Hootsuite definitely doesn't do. Now I'm, I'm a proponent of Hootsuite, but in this case for Google Plus postings, I always use the do share. All right. If you have any social media related questions for me, please leave those in the comments below. Also, please make sure that you share this video and rate this video at the end. With that, go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day. Additional social media tutorials are being posted weekly. Subscribe for future updates so you don't miss out. You can also check out past videos. I encourage you to share them with your friends, followers, and fans.